your opponents this week though could be a different kettle of fish because they're battling for survival aren't they? Yeah, and uh, they're playing exactly the way I expect for a, for a John Brown team. You know, they're all working very hard, and he's done a he's done a magnificent job since he's went in there. Um, you know, they're, they're fighting for their lives, as you say. So we know it'll be a, a different game, and as much I think it'll be more of a, a physical game, it'll be a battle. Uh, so we need to you know make sure we go up there and match that. That's fans with long memories don't have good memories of Den Park back in '86, Gary. Do you remember who you were back then? I was there. Were you? Yeah, I was there. I was at the game with my, my dad, my brother. Uh, it was a bad day for the football club, so I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> but is this a chance maybe for a wee bit of payback? Because nah. Nah, I didn't see it like that. You know, that happens in 86. You know, this is a completely different football club. You know, as I say, what happens in the past for me stays in the past. I'm a, a you know, a manager now that I look forward. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm. Been really pleased with the last couple of performances, but they've gone. You know, uh, nothing we could do about them. I look forward now. It's a game against Dundee, um, and a game that I'm, you know, I'm desperate to win as other players. You mentioned the way Dundee's been playing. That you're not surprised at that. Uh, typically, John Brown. What, what's different about him? Well, is it, for me, you know. People forget he was at Rangers a long, long time. Produced some you know, fantastic young players there. And you know the way John played the game, you know I admired him because he was similar to myself. He was a winner. He, you know he played played through some incredible injuries that he had. You know, by all accounts, he had the knee just as bad as mine, and continually played through the pain. Uh, and you know won numerous titles with Rangers. So uh, you know it doesn't surprise me in the slightest that Dundee have picked up since since Bomber went there. And he almost uh, joined half, didn't he? I think so. I, I wasn't here at the time, but I, you know, I heard that. Obviously, when you're a supporter, there's hundreds of rumours go about, and uh, you know, he ended up going to Rangers. But he's had a fantastic career, and he was a first-class coach. And uh, as I say, it's certainly not a surprise to me that Dundee have, have picked up.